The Hollywood Awards season is off and it's running after last night's Golden Globes. American Hustle took home three awards, including Best Comedy. 12 Years a Slave was honored as Best Drama. Nancy O'Dell, co-host of Entertainment Tonight, talked to many of the winners. And she's on the ET set in Los Angeles bright and early for us this morning. Nancy, good morning. I stayed up late to watch because they say you never know what could happen at the Golden Globes. It's a little loosey-goosey there sometimes. That is very true, and I'm glad you said you stayed up late. I don't even know what it is like staying up late because I just never went to sleep, as you know, on these nights. Why I'm still in my gown. But, you know, Gail, American Hustle was the big winner, but this year it was a year with so many great films and incredible performances that I, I got to say, it was really anybody's guess who might take home an award. In fact, I got to say, in all of my years of covering Hollywood, I have never seen so many winners who seemed genuinely surprised and flustered when their names were called. Jennifer Lawrence, American Hustle. I'm sorry, I'm shaking so much. Don't ever do this again. It's so scary. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And the Golden Globe goes to Amy Adams, oh. American Hustle. I always cry when I'm not supposed to, and then when a director asks me to cry, I can't cry. It really sucks. And I'll tell you, I got a kick out of how excited Matthew McConaughey was about being honored as the Globe's best actor in a drama for Dallas Buyers Club. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Yes, I. Unexpected, but graciously accepted. He told me how his wife Camilla supported him through his rigorous filming. She had no means or need to be up at 4.30 when I was leaving. Kids weren't going to get up till 6.30, but she got up with me every morning. And we went out, and she was like, go get it today. Get it. How nice is that when you have a supportive spouse that is pulling for you? Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio was named Best Actor in a Comedy for The Wolf of Wall Street. I, I never would have guessed I would have won for Best Actor in a Comedy, so I'd like to uh, pay some congratulations to my fellow comedians here tonight. Some squabbling about that category, but no doubt about the all-time number one lady in his life. I grabbed your mom. Yes. <laughs> you do good work. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you thanked your mom and dad and said thanks for supporting you all these years. What would you like to say to them tonight when, when it's such a big night for you? Well, look, you know, we didn't have much, but I had parents that said, look, our, our son wants to do this. This is his dream. And they drove me every day to auditions. I lived in Los Angeles, but... Hollywood always felt like this elite club that I could never belong to and I mean they kept with me even if I didn't get a job for a year they they reinforced my dream so you know they're special people. I uh, certainly part of Hollywood elite now that's for sure and Leo told me that this recognition means so much to him because he and director Martin Scorsese fought to get this film made he said it was actually in the works for eight years and his relationship with his mom makes him even more charming she was genuinely thrilled and such a proud mom she said now you two get over here let me take your picture with my iPhone I mean she was literally so adorable taking all the pictures of him doing his interviews backstage such a proud mom as she should be listen Nancy I still like your interview with Matthew McCoy. He, he and his wife are apparently very close. She says, get it. And he goes and he gets it. I like that. It. He still got that Texas accent. Yes, I like it too. But you he was in such good spirits. I love how you started saying everybody seems so surprised. I noticed that too. How could everybody be so surprised? I guess it's better you to know, play it that way than to say, yes, I was expecting this. But everybody kept saying, oh, I'm so surprised. I, but I really do think, you, you think that they just say that as part of their speeches. But this year, I think there were so many good movies and so many great performances that made the movie so good that it was kind of up for grabs. I've had so many people leading into the Golden Globe saying, like, who are you predicting to win? And I would say, like, four different names because you just couldn't tell. Such incredible, strong names that were in there in the hat. Well, Jacqueline so, uh, Bissett very was proud. very surprised. I've been surprised. pulling for Leo. Jacqueline Bissett it was, a lot was of very fun. surprised. I will say that about her. She was genuinely yeah. shocked. Thank yeah. you, Nancy O'Dell. Yes, yeah, she did seem. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you, Gallon. Of course, we'll have a full wrap-up tonight. And, Charlie, I just want you to know that I, um, I was about to wear the green dress because you like my Emmy dress so much. You know? <laughs> but they said, no, you got to switch it up a little I, bit, even I, though Charlie likes green. I, I, <laughs> you know no, why no, he likes green, I was going to tell you how much I loved it, but I didn't want to sound like a sexist. Oh, <laughs> no. Nancy, his new favorite color is blue. That's his oh, new favorite excellent. color. Today. Thank you, Nancy. You look fantastic. Like that, Charlie. Fantastic. Always good to talk to you guys. Thank you, Charlie. You're right. You do. You always look good. Thank you, Nancy Odell. <laughs>